Hey guys, it's another Art Explained, and this time I'm working on Chancery again, which is the graphic novel that I'm working on with my friend Chris, who's the writer and script writer for it. So um, something I've been dealing with is what font to use, you know. Um, there's so many free fonts, which is great, um, but they all start looking a lot alike to me, and something I wanted to do was to you know, ink and letter the comic, uh, but um, I didn't know how to make a font. I still don't know the mechanics of making a font. I know that if I, you know, took a, a day or so studying it, I could probably figure it out, but I found something much simpler. So it's a website called paintfont.com, and I'm going to be going through the process here in the video of showing you what I did to make my fonts. And before I do that, though, I'm going to show you my first try, because you can actually print these out and write on it. So this is what it looks like, a normal sheet. So in the background, not sure how well you can see it, but there's some gray lines and behind each thing there is the suggested, you know, what a certain letter or number should look like so you know what to draw there. Um, so I did that for a whole sheet and scanned it in and turned it into the font through their website which is free and it's also free for commercial use and personal use so there's no issues of copyrights or anything and uh, I just wasn't very happy um, you know, there's a lot of room for error when you're handwriting things don't look exactly the same um, you know one line versus another line one being wobbly one being not and so I, uh, I didn't like my first try. I thought I could do better. And uh, it turns out you can download PNG files and actually uh, use them on your computer. So as I have a tablet, I'm going to show you how I made the font group that I actually think I'm going to stick with and how to do that. So stay tuned. So here's what I've got so far. Uh, I've just been using my tablet, as I said. Um, you can see the second page here. And what I've been doing is copying and pasting some letters like those A's and the E's and just drawing in the accent above it so that everything looks very uniform. Uh, here, I'll just do the last page so you can see me do it. Um, again, this is just in Manga Studio so I can move the page so it feels a little more organic like when you're writing for real. A lot of the time I slant the, sh the sheet, you know. Um, so that's all. Here I'm just going to copy the Y and bring it over so you can see what I was doing and when I told you I was copying things. And there we go. I'll do the same here as well. Again, just copying, flipping horizontal, flipping vertical until I get what I need. Again, I was going to just draw this in, but it just never really was looking right, so I just used the um, selection tool to make a circle and fill it in with black. I just think it was a little, a little cleaner and easier in the end. So. So I'm doing all these on a separate layer, but when you're going to turn it in, it's all going to be flattened uh, because they need those markers on the page to be able to know what font, you know, what letter goes where and everything. The, the file knows that, so don't try to remove the background and just have a sheet of letters with nothing else on it. That doesn't work. But when you're making it, having it on a separate layer, of course, is very helpful. And make sure to save a PSD file or a layered file so that you can go back and easily edit and change things for sure. So that's the last page and I'm going to go now and uh, show you what it looks like on the website. Okay, so here we go. This is what it all looks like after it's been changed. It gives you a quick preview and then you can download it. Um, it's a really good program. It doesn't take very long at all to do. Um, I'll go through the process of how you um, set it up now. So this is the site, paintfont.com. 
and I clicked on uh, these things here to give more options for letters and accents and stuff because I'm not really sure. I just wanted to have the most options possible, you know? It's just a good idea. So then go down and click on PNG and then you can change the template file thing, but I mean, I didn't, it's not a big deal. And then you create the templates, and download those, and then you extract them. And uh, once you've edited them like I did, then you choose them and upload them. You have to make a new field for each page. So don't forget to do that. Don't get, get confused. And then I did the TTF. You can do OTF, but I mean, TTF is fine. And name it whatever you want to name it. Um, just so you remember what it is, really, just like any file. And then you tell it to go. And it takes a few minutes, and in the end, we'll spit out your, your font. And here I am actually showing you what it kind of looks like in the comic form. This is a page uh, still very much in the works, but I like to see the words on it so I can get a better idea of what's going on. Um, I'm still working with it, but here I just want to show you kind of what it's like. I think I'm going to have to change around with a lot of the spacing and things like that later on. But overall, I like it. I think it's got a lot of potential and I'd like to get Chris's handwriting as well. Maybe use two different handwritings, one for when there's speech and one for when there's narration or personal dialogue uh, so that there's sort of a, a difference as well between those. And that is it. That's it for this week. I'll be back again in two weeks. Uh, if you want to become one of my patrons, your suggestions for these videos are top of the list. So if there's something you want me to cover that I've not, a product you want me to test in reason, if I have it or don't, you know, I might go out and buy it if it's not too expensive. Or if you have something, you know, you just want me to sit and talk about or show you how to do it, you know, I'm totally open for all suggestions. Just let me know and patrons get first choice. I go with what you need first, um, but if you're just a, a viewer here on YouTube, go ahead and suggest things. I don't always have suggestions, and so it's just me trying to think of things that you guys might find interesting. I hope they're interesting, at least. This is now, um, this is about my 40th week uh, going through Patron. Uh, I do sketch videos every weekend as well that my patrons get first choices on for winners to get the actual drawings in the mail from me. So there's a lot of options. The link is on the five sizes too small banner throughout the video and a link at the end of the video as well. So stick around, watch some other stuff, enjoy yourself. There's a lot there now to watch. And I'll see you in a couple weeks for another Art Explained and I'll see you this weekend for the sketch video. Bye guys.